What's up YouTube? I'm Robert and this is the Biker Channel, B1. Today's vlog is not one that I want to make. Let's just say things haven't been gone the way that I want them to. Since the last vlog, things haven't been very exciting. It's been over a month and a half and the lowest I've been on the scale so far, 240 pounds. So let's see where we end up today. That's what giving up last week looks like. This last month has been so emotionally freaking draining. I've been trying and trying and trying and not getting anywhere. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Good week, get back to zero or get back to 240. Bad week, 245. Good week, 240. Bad week, 243. I'm stuck. This is what a plateau feels like. Green is me losing weight towards the goal. Red is gaining weight. Yellow is losing weight that I gained. And as you can see, there's not any green in the last two months. It's just nothing but up and down. It's one of those moments when you're like, really trying to debate continuing or not. It's like, is this good enough? Is this really like the best I can do? It's hard. Over the last 10 months, I've made huge changes in my lifestyle. I've changed my eating habits. I've got back to working out. I quit smoking. And I also have significantly limited the amount of drinking I do. With all of that and COVID going on, it's definitely made my life extremely redundant. And you wake up every day not knowing what day it is. And your alarm clock may as well be playing that Sonny and Cher song from the movie Groundhog Day. I know I'm not the only one feeling this way. And now that things are starting to return to normal, I think I'm struggling internally with going back to the quote unquote normal that I was used to before we all got locked down. Like this whole COVID lockdown was something I get to pack up and leave behind me. However, I know I can't do that. I wasn't happy with the life decisions I was making at the time and I decided to make a change, a big change. But now here I am, and every time someone sees me, they congratulate me on how good I look and how I've been such a motivation to them. And that really feels good. Unfortunately, it does something else that really kind of sucks. It makes me want to settle. It makes me want to convince myself that my original goal, it was just too much. That I should just be happy with where I am and just call it good here. Hey guys, if you're digging the content, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. It lets me know that you guys are really interested in the content that I'm making and uh, keeps me motivated to keep going. If you can relate with what I'm saying right now, hit the thumbs up because I guess that's what it's for, right? Anyways, let's get back to it. I know just as well as you do that this isn't what I should do. I know I should get up and get out to the gym or to the trail and put the work in. The work that I have been putting in. The work that's paid off in 60 pounds of weight loss. However, it's not that easy. It may look that way. I'm sure if I was watching this vlog from your side of the screen, it appears hard, but it definitely doesn't seem too bad. I can assure you, it has been hard. And right now, it's probably the hardest it's ever been. Although I'm not super stoked about where I'm at with my weight, I am super happy that I'm still getting out here. I'm getting it done. I'm putting the workouts in, I'm riding the bike. I've really changed my life. That's a good thing. Regardless of what the scale says every week, those things made me feel better about myself, you know? I'm not making this vlog to be coddled or for everybody to pat me on the back and tell me that I'm doing great or whatever. 
However, I'm not going to be upset to read those comments. But what I'm really making this vlog for is to let you know where I'm at mentally. I think that's the most important thing that I've done on this YouTube journey, is to be transparent, as much as I can be with all of you. I don't want anybody to watch this series and get the wrong idea that if you're going to go out and try something like this, you should know. It's hard, and it gets harder. However, I'm confident that it will pay off. So as I add another red magnet to the garage door, I'm not stoked, but there's one thing for sure. I'm also, I'm not giving up. So don't take this vlog the wrong way. I'm struggling, but I'm definitely not defeated. Not super stoked about that. Not super stoked. Why don't you guys let me know down in the comments what you guys do to get through something tough because I'm not sure what to do at this point, man. I, uh, I know I don't want to give up. But man, right now, finding motivation, it's not easy at all. Well, there you have it. This is not the vlog I wanted to make. It's not the news I wanted to tell you guys. I want you guys to know the struggle. I don't want you guys to think that this is just something easy that you make a commitment to and a couple of videos and, yay, I lost 80 pounds. I have 20 to go and my motivation's like so freaking small right now. I just wanna like drink beers with my buddies and enjoy summer and go out to eat and not stress about anything. I know I can do those things and maintain like what I saw on the scale today. It's just, it's, I'm, I'm maintaining. That's what I've been doing for the last two months. I mean, shit at this point, Two and a half months, two and a half months, two and a half months of me maintaining. Gain five pounds, lose five pounds. It's annoying. It's really annoying. It's annoying that this is the situation that I'm in. I'm sitting here 11 months in and I haven't hit my goal yet. I won it before the year mark and right now I don't believe in myself. Hopefully my next vlog is the, the last one, the 12 month, the I made it to my goal one. That's what I'm rooting for. In the meantime, I want you guys to remember one thing. It only takes a bike to be a biker. Get out and be one.